nice track record with the various books that we've given the award to. Um, this is a project of the Arts Club of Washington, and if you've not been to the Arts Club before, welcome tonight. If you're a member of the Arts Club, thank you for all the work that you do for this award, because this award wouldn't be possible without the input of many, many members here. This is a, an award that starts out at the very beginning of the academic year as a, a reading project and basically we involve many many members and many friends of the club people in academia um, people all over the city and the area um, get together and come to a, a very nice champagne event and we have sometimes as many as 80 books that we're going to look at for the award process and basically what happens is we, we uh, have been working this year with a very talented lady Leslie Lundgren who is a graduate student at American University who's been our administrator this year and basically what Leslie tries to do working with our our committee is winnow these books down. We have to look at um, a book that's published first in the United States, a book that's written by a single author, and then a book that is written not in an academic way, but a book that involves people in, the, in, the, in an art form. And so this year we actually had four books that made it through this process, um, and we had a very, very exciting um, committee meeting where people got together to discuss the books and discuss the members' comments on the books. And that meeting um, lasted quite an afternoon, I'll tell you. And it's some of the, sometimes the books, we, we, uh, I'll tell you the funniest story about we've ever had with one of those is we had a book that was written, I think, three years ago about Clement Greenberg. And somebody, and Clement Greenberg was a very famous art critic. And um, the, the, the the book came back with some people saying, this is the, one of the best books I've ever read, but Clement Greenberg was the biggest asshole, and I would never vote for him. And I thought, you know, like, the deal with it is that the, the, Clement, the book, part of what goes on with this award is it involves people, and the idea that people would be that excited about reading a book, to me it was like, wow, that's really exciting. So we've had had books about things like um, hip hop, uh, music, uh, where people are saying that's not an arts club book, and again, we're saying that that's not the point of this award. This award is a national award. It's um, been given, as I say, for the past five years. We're very, very happy that this year um, the book has been given to uh, the Grant Wood book, and that was there were three other books that were part of our selection process that got to the judges. Um, the other three books, as you saw down there, are a book about Charlie Chan and a book called The Advancement, which is about the circus, and then also a book called Girls to the Front, which is about a women's music movement. Um, we also have a very interesting way of selecting judges for this, because as I say, the members get together to do the first one and then we have a very nice panel of judges that have never met each other and um, they come together and discuss their, the, the books that they've been asked, asked to read. Uh, and basically we always try to have a poet and this year our poet was Ethelbert Miller who is a member of the club and was, it was very nice we could have him because we actually have had um, some people that had to, to remove themselves from the judging process because they knew some of the, of the writers. Um, uh, the second judge we had this year is a, a novelist named Catherine Neville and um, Catherine Neville came to us as a friend of one of our members. We're very happy to have her as a judge. And our third, um, our, our third judge was a man named Michael Martone, who is a professor, I think, at the University of Alabama, and is just you know, trying to recover from that tornado down there. He was actually going to try and come up here, but everything is kind of in a state down there. So anyway, those were our three judges. And Leslie, our awards administrator, coordinated a very nice um, uh, telephone conversation between the judges. And in a, in a live conversation, they discussed all the elements of the books and basically came up with a winner. And again, as I say, our winner tonight is Grant Wood um, by Trip Evans here. So I'm very happy to, to, to introduce Trip, and I, I have a little, a little prepared remark about this, so let me try and get through this, and hopefully I will not mispronounce things. So Trip Evans is a Virginian by birth and a Rhode Islander by adoption, hence his love for bourbon, a gothic storytelling, and stuffed cohogs, which for a long time we couldn't figure out what that meant. I mean, I mean, Leslie and I were thinking, I thought maybe it was a submarine sandwich, Leslie thought it was probably a partridge or something, but he told us they're, they're like little, um, uh, apparently stuffed, stuffed clams. So, so, so anyway, so, so that, that's the, 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 the north and south there. So he majored in architectural history at the University of Virginia, which is actually very exciting for me because my graduate degree is from the University of Virginia. So we were very excited to have that connection as well. And he received his PhD in art history from Yale. And between degrees, he, um, has, he was distracted, a distracted receptionist and a voracious reader. And he told us at lunch about some of his uh, frightening experiences as a receptionist. So um, since 1997, he's taught in the art in the art history department at Wheaton College in Massachusetts. I know many of you are from we 
Wheaton. And actually, I just got back from Los Angeles where I was spending time with one of his former students, which was a complete, uh, an incredible kind of like situation. So, um, and he's been specializing in American art and culture of the 19th and early 20th centuries. So Evans' books examine how and why American artists evoke national character in their work from American employers' fanciful representations of the explorers, excuse me, American explorers' fanciful representations of the pre-Columbian past. The, his book was entitled Romancing the Maya, Mexican Antiquity and the American Imagination from 1820 to 1915 to Grant Wood's deeply personal use of national iconography. Grant Wood, the book that we're honoring tonight, A Life, explores the ways in which collective national identity emerges from the unstable ground of myth, and in this case, the myth is that of a, a presumably all-American homespun artist whose life and art, most famously the painting American Gothic, have become stubborn icons for traditional small-town American values. Evans uncovers the contradiction between Wood's folksy public image as America's painter and the realities of his European training, sophisticated use of art historical sources, and complex family relationships and closet homosexuality. So I'm very proud and very happy to introduce you, Trip Evans, who's like our winner of this award this year. Thank you. so gracious to me here. Uh, it is wonderful to be here and, and particularly uh, uh, very flattering and, and I feel very honored uh, by this recognition. You know, most